Rick Faulkner. I am a second year and I'm playing Beth. I'm Benjamin Grills. Um, I'm a third year actor and I'm playing Jake. Uh, my name is Billy Finn. I'm a second year actor in the program and I'm playing Mike. Well, it's just such a really freaking good play. It's funny and dark at the same time. Um, when when I was first introduced to theater, uh, I saw an undergraduate production of Berry Child, and I n knew very little about plays, and I realized that Sam Shepard had written the play, um, so then I, I became obsessed with Sam Shepard plays. It houses all of what Shepard does best in one play. It has this uh, almost magical, uh, surrealist, um, feel and then right juxtaposed next to it are these gritty grounded characters and when you put them back to back it's just explosive. Jake is married to Beth. Mike is huh, Mike is an interesting character. He's sort of in my mind he's sort of the most heroic character in the thing or he wants to be the hero of the play. Well, Beth um, is married to Jake He's sort of in this role of the defender. His sister goes through this sort of traumatic event and he spends a lot of the beginning of the play trying to support her and be there for her. And then his thinking sort of shifts towards revenge. So it's sort of, <laughs> it's sort of like he's got his own sort of revenge tragedy happening in the middle of this play. Um, but the great thing about Mike is that he's not so good at it. <laughs> um, and before the play starts, uh, Jake believes that he has killed Beth. And preceding the beginning of the play, they had an incident where Beth was beaten by Jake and now she has aphasia. That it's, it's a processing disorder, so people with aphasia can understand what you're saying, but they're ha they have trouble communicating um, what they want to say back. And, and because of that, your language is boiled down to the most organic, um, raw sense. So the words that come out are the words that are absolutely necessary, which translate in um, Shepard's play to being poetic, but it's really a desperate need to communicate. The audience is introduced to him after the fact, and they get to watch this man who has committed this horrible, horrible act, um, lose his grip on reality. It brings a lot of humor and a lot of, a lot of um, storytelling about family and, and, and the roles that we all play in our families. Working with Brian is great. Um, Brian, it's just a masterclass on theater and life is that he's after your real organic responses. He's not looking for acting, he's looking for truth. He creates the characters that are mythic and legendary, but they're also your mom, your sister, your cousin, and he can do that in the same show, and it's incredible. It's hard sometimes to juggle going to voice class and going to yoga and doing this, that, and the other thing, and then coming to rehearsal, especially in a process that's as, um, intense and as demanding as this rehearsal process is, but but it's rewarding in that sense. I like that it's hard. And to watch my teachers also in the show, I remember I was watching Annie the other day and um, I forgot to speak because I was just watching her like, oh yeah, yeah I have a line now. Um, but to watch her do what she's teaching me is, is a full circle and it's really nice. It's, more than anything else, what we keep saying in the rehearsal room, it's a, it's a play about family. And that's not going out of style anytime soon. Um. <laughs>